You gonna walk in there and think you getting this dope Call of Duty hairdo and they just gonna beat you up. Welcome to the Gulag. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You won't escape my wrath! What up, cool nerds? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing Worst Knockoffs Part 12. We're gonna jump right into this video, but you already know what next week is. Next week is Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving Struggle Meals. It's been a yearly tradition for actually a few years now, and we gotta keep it rolling. We gotta keep it going. So, you already know what to do. Keep sending me in that stuff, but we're gonna jump right into this video. Don't forget to smack that like button, sub, and notifications on. Let's get it. Life 360, putting Christ in control. Uh, rated G, <laughs> rated G, rated J for Jesus. Content rated by the CCC, whatever that is. Like, I need to know, is this like a video game or is this an audio book? Cause I'm, I'm down to play Jesus. Like, not like play him, but like, you know, like actually play the video game. I'm trying to figure out what type of game this would be. Would this be like a fighting game, a role playing game? You just go around like dunking folks in water, baptizing them. Like, I feel like there could be also the other situation where you're just turning water into wine, like out of nowhere. It would be dope if this was like a Marvel Avengers game but instead of recruiting Avengers, you're recruiting disciples and y'all just trying to take down evil. Mike's. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like we've had this brand on here before, but like every time we have this brand on here, the logo looks slightly different. Like this is a Nike with a kickstand. Like how do you have a Nike logo on crutches? This is a Nike paperweight. Like they talking about the new style appears on market. What market? Huh? What market? I would love to see the rest of the store because you got like the fake Air Yeezys in the top left corner. I don't know if y'all can see it that well because I'm probably gonna cut off the picture, but yeah, come on, bro. I want to see the rest of the store because I, I would I would be having a field day with this. All right, y'all. So we had a few submissions for like Halloween fails, like costume fails, and uh, I didn't get to use them. So I'm like, I might as well use the, some of them in here. And <laughs> if you ever say M&Ms like chocolate mms, like <laughs> I might have to slap you, but I also might have to say that too. If y'all hear me say mm, I'm talking about M&Ms now. <laughs> Mm. Like it's whatever. Like get a cheap costume from Spear, whatever. Yeah, I, like whatever. But this costume is just not reasonable. Like look at his arm. Like no one's about to be like this all day. Like the whole night. They did him super bogus too. Why is he posted up like a Jeepers Creepers scarecrow? And this don't even look like an Eminem. This looks like a great value face from Nick Jr. The dude who went <laughs> right here on Nick Jr. <laughs> is that his hair at the top or is that something else? Because Buddy at the bottom don't got the same thing, and I assuming he got this like alfalfa thing going on with his hair and then it's just called the mm suit like come on bro you can't be a superhero and then be like hey where's my mm suit man if y'all don't get that reference we can't be friends though spider medium all right y'all if i'm a kid and you pull up with some spider medium balloons i'm fighting the entire party now what does that even mean like spider medium like is that the size of spider-man does medium mean man in a different language like what am i missing here <laughs> Stalkers. I feel like there's been so many Snickers knockoffs. I don't know if we even used these before. I know we used ones that were called snipers before, but stalkers? Imagine handing this to your crush. It's in fact called a stalker. Not that I am a stalker, but I want this chocolate in your mouth. What? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Like, what makes these knockoffs bad is that they're not subtle at all. Like, they're they'll take the logo, they'll take the exact font, they'll take everything, the color. Like, it just looks exactly like they don't even try to hide that they're stealing the logo. But like this, come on, bro. This is the final boss of all Lacoste people. This dude is definitely like a level 100 Lacoste boss bars. But anyways, like he's not even just rolling up on a car. This dude is just, just definitely riding on a dragon like alligator type thing. Black men. <laughs> he's a, Here come the black men. <laughs> is the is this the actual cover cuz I feel like Tommy Lee they just look weird. Like we got to look this up, y'all. Men in black movie. All right, y'all. I knew this looked weird because I'm like, something's wrong with their facial hair. This look like Tommy Lee Jones from Mexico and why he got this baby hand with this huge cut. <laughs> and I didn't even see that it said black squared men. I just thought it said black men. Like, I didn't see the number two in the top quarter. And even Will Smith's facial hair is weird. Like, who edited this? What? I need to see this movie. If y'all find this bootleg, let's watch it. <laughs> Yo, why do Shrek look like somebody's baby mama and, and his best friend Fiona over here, not even his girl, his best friend Fiona look like one of those girls who just like know you up to no good and hate you from the beginning just from her instincts. I would watch this movie though. This movie right here might be better than the original Shrek. Y'all, this picture just reminds me of Baby D and Day Day's girlfriend from next Friday. Like, that's the only thing I'm picturing in my head right now. You don't know Baby D. 
You don't know that's why you looking at me because you don't know, baby. D. I'm a doughies. I'm a dough this. <laughs> what did you say? I would rather rock the mice than this. I can't even pronounce this. I'm a doughies. I'm a dad. <laughs> actually, I forget the logo. These are actually pretty clean. I'd rock these. I'd definitely rock these over the mice. What am I talking about? I would just call them the Amadeus's though. Boy, that hoes clean. <laughs> Boy, you stunned. Sean Connery versus the. All right, y'all, when it comes to cologne, I feel like everyone jumps on these like same similar like smells. Like, I don't want to be smelling like everyone else. I want to have my own unique smell, you know what I mean? But I'm not rocking with the gross, okay? <laughs> you, you, I'm not puff puff gross, like come on, man. Like, and then it's like contradicting like itself saying you are best. And then it's like Dark Knight. What, what are you, Batman? What are you, gross Batman? All right, some of y'all may not have seen Adventure Time before, but this is a clear knockoff of it and it's called Departure Time. And I don't know what's going on here, but everybody in this picture looks like they on some sort of psychedelic. Ben 10 laundry services. I like how it's Ben 10's like original head, but it's on like, like Goku's body or something like that. Come on, they didn't even try to make it proportionate. And hey, it's laundry, so hey, why not show your washboard apps? All right, y'all, I talked about this in my last video when it comes to mattress like places like, you know, mattress farm and stuff. Bro, how are y'all still in business? $119 for a twin mattress by Mattress Bob. Likes that bargain. Like, bro, y'all are not selling mattresses to like stay in business. Y'all are selling drugs. Drugs. And clearly they might be doing them too because y'all got SpongeBob out here looking like a white blood cell. All right, so for anyone who's played Guess Who, we know this is a knockoff of it. Like, who's there? I feel like who's there is like not even like a realistic like way to play this game. Like, hey, who's there? Like, no, like that's what you do when someone knocks on your door and you sneak like and look in the window, like creak, like, you know, you be in there like trying to see who it is, bro. Like, come on, who's there? Can you guess who? Like, that, that don't make no sense to me. I feel like guess who just makes more sense to me. Cause who's there is like a white person in a scary movie when they're like in the house alone, like on scream or something. They're like, oh, who's there? And the killer's just supposed to pop up like, oh, I'm over here. Like, they're not gonna tell you the location. The Mick Kebab, like this may be a knockoff McDonald's, but I already know this is selling like hotcakes wherever this is because people love the McRib. Like y'all are eating rhino feet. That's not a real like, meat like i don't know what that is but it's not the mid kebab gotta be like squirrel toes and like deer ankles like this there's what is this bro y'all y'all gotta stop eating that and then people were like so appalled like how the mick rib was prepared over the weekend like y'all thought people were just grilling ribs in the back on sunday like come on let's be real guarda tuama what does that mean like we gotta look this up bro hold up save your soul so this is save your soul five <laughs> What type of GTA is this? Yay! Call of Duty. I don't know about this one, y'all. You, you try to leave here, you coming out with life-threatening injuries. This look like a torture room. You gonna walk in there and think you getting this dope Call of Duty hairdo and they just gonna beat you up. Welcome to the Gulag. Phineas Pizza. I mean, I don't care if this is a knockoff. This is real, cause like, that slice look fire, bro. Like, some of the, I'm telling y'all, knockoffs don't be sleeping on. Like, if it's, you, you can tell if it's gonna be bad, but this pizza slice look fire. All right, y'all, for the last one, we got to do a little compilation. You know what I mean? Because Nutella is wilding out here. I don't even know if Nutella's the original one. There's so many knockoffs of Nutella. It might be a knockoff. Like, so we're going to jump right into this and just, just watch all these. Nussa, Deli Nut, Nut Cow, Just How I Like My Woman, Fine and Raw. What? Rosella? Rosella? Mozzarella? When you're having a casual conversation with your girl and you mention another woman's name, don't go nuts. When your girl talks about me during a casual conversation and she calls me the nut master. Nelson Mandela, Max Tella, not a donut, but a go nut. I don't think it's Nutella, but it's probably nutta. <laughs> <laughs> Fundalina, Chalk Nut, Nut Toka, Nusco, Manuela, Doodoo Butter. Are all nerds as good as you? 